Good afternoon everyone. Today is August the 12th, 2015. Um, I have an article here, well actually quite a few of them. One here is by Alan West, Unlawful and Unethical Look at What Congress is Doing to Avoid Obamacare. Uh, don't know if you've heard about this, but this is really, really outrageous. Congress enrolled in the Small Business Exchange when its previous coverage under the Federal Employee Health Benefits Plan was terminated by the Affordable Care Act, and congressional employees stood to lose thousands of dollars in employer contributions if they enrolled in the district's individual exchange. According to documents obtained by, obtained by Judicial Watch through the Freedom of Information Act, the U.S. Senate and U.S. House of Representatives both certified they employ 50 or fewer full-time equivalent employees. And this is not made up. Apparently, the U.S. House of Representatives and U.S. Senate declared themselves a small business in order to shop for health care in the government exchange. Remember the Obamacare rule about over, over them 50 employees places you in a different health care requirement mandate. Of course, to me down here in Dallas, Texas, blah, 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 he says, the Office of personnel management issued a final rule that provides an employer contribution covering about three quarters of the premiums of congressional employees role in the small business exchange starting January 2014. They are not a small business. We all know that. This is insanity. That That's wrong. That's wrong. We need to write Congress about that. Well, we need to write Congress 20 million times a day because they're not for us, obviously. Okay, moving on to the next one. ICE Director to Congress. We follow Obama's policies, not law. This is insanity. Seriously. If your employer gave you a directive to do something that was against the law, particularly federal law, would you do it? If you are the Director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and your name is Sarah Salanda, you would follow your employees' directors and commit a crime. In a testimony, testimony before a House Budget Committee subcommittee, Representative David Young, a Republican of Iowa, voiced concern about reports that ICE officials were not sure whether to follow the law and enforce it as written or follow a unilateral di directive issued by the White House via Barack Hussein Obama that basically relaxes deportation efforts against what they call low-priority illegal immigrants. These days, that is code for everyone who crosses the border, especially when in groups of 20 or more. Here's some videos that go with that as well. It's a pretty good article. It's rather lengthy, but um, it's a good one. Here, moving on to the next one. This is a really good one, too, um, since Maryland is my home state. Um, massive non-citizen voting uncovered in Maryland. An election integrity watchdog group is suing the state of Maryland, alleging that it has discovered massive and ongoing fraudulent voting by U.S. citizens, non-U.S. citizens, in one county. But because of the way that the non-citizens are able to cast votes in election, the fraud is likely happening in every single county and subdivision across the state. The group believes that the illegal voting has been happening for years. The group, Virginia Voters Alliance, says that it compared how voters in Frederick County filled out jury duty statements compared with their voting records. The group's investigation found that thousands of people in Frederick County, Maryland, who stated that they are not U.S. citizens on jury duty forms went to cast votes in elections. Either they failed to tell the truth when they were summoned for jury duty or they cast illegal votes. Both are crimes. The same group previously found that 40,000 people are registered to vote in both Virginia or Maryland. Wow. 
it is a federal crime to cast votes if you are not legally eligible to vote. The lawsuit is equivalent of the lookout spotting the iceberg ahead of the Titanic. State Department Pat McDonough told the Tatler. He added that the group's investigation found a voter fraud smoking gun. Maryland state law makes it easier for non-citizens, both those present legally and those in the country against the law, to vote. Outrageous. It goes on to say, Delegate Pat McDonough, Republican of Baltimore and Hartford counties detailed the alleged fraud in a Maryland press conference today. He is calling for a special state prosecutor because the fraud may be taking place statewide with significant impact on Maryland elections. Maryland currently holds 10 electoral votes in presidential elections. McDonough is also proposing legislation including voter ID to close the loopholes that he says non-citizens are using to cast votes. Uh, that's a good one. I think that might be countrywide. Moving on to the next one. EPA scandal and cover-up. Obama's favorite agency allegedly com commits infractions. This is outrageous. See, with this, the EPA should be defunded. Congress should immediately defund the EPA because this is wrong. While President Barack Obama intensifies his rhetoric degenerating Republicans and anyone else who opposes his nuclear pact with Iran, he remains silent about one of his favorite agencies being accused of harming the American environment. On Monday afternoon, Colorado's Governor John Hickenlooper reacted to a toxic water incident perpetrated by Obama's enlarged environmental protection agency the agency that frequently refers cases to the department of justice for prosecution of polluters according to numerous media outlets the epa has been accused of unilaterally increasing its power over private sector organizations and citizens with the blessings of the white house while not holding itself up to the same standards they insist others uphold. It is also being criticized for arming some of its personnel with heavy firepower and equipment that's usually found in police forces and military units. Governor Hickenlooper declared a state of emergency for Colorado in response to an EPA-caused toxic water spill that emanated from an abandoned gold mine that poured into a river and turned its water orange. EPA officials on Sunday admitted it caused about 3 million gallons of waste, which they originally reported five days ago as being 1 million gallon of toxic waste. Wow. However, these same EPA officials said they are not certain how extensive the spill has increased health risks to humans, fish, and other aquatic life in the contaminated river. The governor's emergency orders allow the use of about a half million dollars from the current Colorado Disaster Fund to pay for the response. Some of the taxpayer money will be used by towns and small businesses to cope with the damage directly or indirectly caused by the huge spill. This is the same hard-nosed agency that makes a life a nightmare for American farmers, landowners, corporate executive, local governments, and now we find an EPA that isn't talking much now that they are the alleged perpetrators of an environmental di disaster and perhaps a criminal act. That's definitely a criminal act, and Congress needs to act now, and they need to defund them. This is outrageous. Um, I don't know if the video will play very well. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Ads. Yay. We'll just go ahead and pause that and move on to the next one. Funding the Muslim Brotherhood through Uncle Sam. Isn't that awesome? This is a post that's like an updated to another post. Um, it tells about how uh, much money we are giving 
our taxpayers dollars is being spent on Muslim Brotherhood okay uh, very good article scroll down to the bottom look at all this money look at all that it's an outrage it's an outrage you can tell that our government's being run by the Muslim Brotherhood moving on to the next one with Obama's help assembling Allah's domestic army is now easier this is oh my goodness this, this is, is setting us up for the caliphate if immigrants to the US seek citizenship but are reluctant to take an oath of allegiance because it requires a commitment to help to defend a country what is the solution if the immigrants in question are Muslim and you have a pro-Muslim US president the solution is simple just change the oath to accommodate them Obama has been bringing in tons and tons of Syrians there are um, I what is it at least a couple hundred thousand that he's brought in yearly and that's what's documented I believe it's twice maybe three times that and um, these people are radicals a lot of them are in all 50 states Isis and the Muslim Brotherhood are plotting um, to kill Americans all over the place so what does Obama do he's like yeah cool when when you be when you can become uh, an American citizen when you take this oath you don't need to help out our army you don't need to fight for American causes no no you fight for Muslim causes you can continue to chop Americans heads off that's where this is going that's outrageous he needs to be locked up migrants seek millions in damages for detention conditions oh my goodness now I'm just gonna take a guess okay because um, I'm thinking that a lot of these are Muslim people I haven't even read this yet because I'm just irritated but let's see a group of illegal aliens are now complaining about the condition in which they're being held and are seeking millions in damages for their psychological harm oh boo hoo Nashville Tennessee attorney Andrew free filed a tort claim against the Department of Homeland Security on behalf of five illegals alleging the detained women and their children received inadequate medical care suffered psychological trauma and in some cases were wrongfully imprisoned well maybe I'm wrong because I was gonna say they don't have to stay there leave the country hello but if they were possibly wrongfully in prison maybe there is something to this but seriously why are they in these detention camps to begin with because they came in here illegally hello the tort claim a prosecutor to a federal lawsuit is also directed at US Customs and Border Protection and US Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE runs two family detention centers in Texas and Pennsylvania which hold about 1400 people free contends the conditions at the centers have fallen below the standard of care and they owe these detainees who are from Guatemala Honduras and El Salvador seriously I can't believe that these places are worse than what they came from I I think they should have to prove that in a court of law and again they came in illegally that's why they're in those detention centers we expect this will be the first in a large set of filings on the mistreatment of these women and children on behalf of the government according to the lawyer but ICE disputes those claims spokeswoman Jillian Christensen tells the paper the centers provide an open environment and are an effective and humane alternative for maintaining family unity as families go through immigration proceedings or wait return to their home countries the centers include play areas educational services medical care legal help according to Christensen meanwhile the Obama administration is fighting against an order by US District District Judge Dolly Gee 
or G, not sure which one it is, the detainees be set free due to the deplorable conditions in which they're being held. Oh my gosh. Can you say Cloward and Piven strategy? Definitely, definitely. Obama, this is from all these kids that he put at the borders and welcomed into the country. And he is intentionally trying to overwhelm the system with the Cloward and Piven strategy. Hello. Uh, moving on to the next one. Total breakdown. Senator investigates latest murder by illegal immigrant. Yay. Another one. Come on. Come on. Really? Overwhelming the system yet again. I'm not even going to read that. Okay, we need some happy news now. Oath Keepers descend on Ferguson. Thank God for small miracles. With the renewed uprising in Ferguson taking place, an unexpected but welcome thing took place. Member of the Oath Keepers arrived on the scene, and they were heavily armed. John Swine of The Guardian reporting of their arrival via Twitter. Oath Keepers have shown up in Ferguson with assault rifles. That is a great thing, because you know what? Barack Hussein ain't going to put nobody there to protect nobody. Now, the cops, I, <laughs> the cops there, I feel awful for. But, you know, who knows what's really going on, whether it be paid protesters, whether it be police officers that are out of line. Yes, there's always bad seeds in a crowd. But someone, someone has to have their head on straight and defend this country and defend innocent people and even innocent officers because I know in Baltimore it was to the point where the police officers were scared to do anything and the Oath Keepers thank you very much thank you moving on White House allies accuse Jewish lawmakers of dual loyalty to Israel well guess what I'm not Jewish, I'm Christian, and I have a dual loyalty to Israel too. I'm not even going to go there. I'll leave the link below. Moving on. Devastating bird flu threatens U.S. poultry farmers. Man, the price of eggs have increased. Oh my goodness. Amish chicken farmer, Yura Gingrich, begins each day by lantern light. But this simple life of tradition is threatened by a modern scourge that has devastated the U.S. poultry industry. You know, this bird flu is awesome. Yeah, there it is. It says egg prices have doubled as farmers work to rebuild their flocks in 20 states. I've got to say, um, I've read UN Agenda 21, and um, I know what their game is. And... I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, but I'm wondering if this bird flu was made up in a um, test tube and spread out to intentionally devastate America and take America down. I know if I wanted to take America down, that's what I'd do. Moving on to the next one. Christians burn while Pope worries about worldly matters. Muslim persecution of Christians. So, obviously, we know what this is about. This is about the Pope talking about climate change, climate chaos that's being created by the UN, Agenda 21. Um, all you have to do is look up the geoengineering. You will find, yes, we can control the weather. No, I'm not a crackpot. I'm not insane. Yes. We can control the weather. It's called geoengineering. I've done a previous video on that. You may want to check it out. Anyway, um, all this news for today. In August is kind of depressing, but you know what? We can make it through this if we just stick together, do the right thing, give our praise to God and glory to God, and... Um, Things will happen good for us. Until then, we'll keep 
telling each other, spreading the word about what's going on. And turn your TVs off. Don't watch Fox News. Fox News does give more truth than any other station. But again, it's only half truths. And, and you, know, you know, they don't out and out lie to you, though. That is the good thing. But um, turn off that TV and, you know, get the word from your friends and, and um, get it from good sites that tell the truth. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, post your comments, subscribe, and like my videos. Thanks a lot, and you have a good day.